Hi, welcome to Tuesday Tips with Kimber Bell. I'm Erin and I'm a product manager here. And I'm here today with Jessie. I am a tester up on the product development team. And today we are gonna to tell you about Noelle's quilted stockings. And I've seen some of your examples on Facebook and they're so much fun to sew, aren't they? So we have four designs. We have, help me, O Tannenbaum which remember is the German song, Oh Christmas Tree. Some people didn't know what that was. Then we have pine cones and holly berries. And if you notice, all of these names are Christmas carol names, hence the name Noel's Quilted Stockings. And then we have Deck the Halls. And last, oops, last but not least, we have Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Isn't that cute? And this is with Minky, or you can use felt or anything else fun for his beard to get that texture. Anyway, the stockings are made, they come in four sizes. So we have a five by seven size. Let me pull this up. Actually, I don't think I have a five by seven with me. This is a six by 10 size. So they come in five by seven hoop size and a six by 10 hoop size. Mm -hmm. And what's next? Eight by 12. Eight by 12. And nine by 14. And there's your nine by 14. So cute. And what's awesome about these is this is made completely in the hoop. As in when you take it out of the hoop, you turn it inside in and it's done. So if you look inside, it's fully lined on both sides. Um, it's quilted on the front and so fun. Yeah, they're so cute. They're so fun to make. There's lots of different, you see we did it in different colorways. We did really colorful and then we did some neutrals with gold. Actually, I have to show you something funny. This one, when I showed it to Kim, she said, all I can see is a Hershey kiss because you see his hat. So there's a tip. Don't make Santa's hat out of uh, silver embroidery leather because it will look like a Hershey kiss. Choose any other color. So we get to use lots of really fun embellishments with yes. Noel stockings, right? We have glitter, leather, felt, did we use vinyl on it? The vinyl gets used on the cloche oh, yeah. on Otanabaum. So it looks like this tree is underneath the glass cloche. So that's where you get to use the vinyl, the sweetest candy vinyl. And then we use leather here and here. You can use a little bit of leather on, on any of the stockings. Then we use, we use crochet edge ribbon for the, um, for the little loops, and this gets sewn in in the hoop too. The little crochet edge trim for your loop to hang your stocking. And on Jolie Old St. Nicholas, we use the Rick Rack trim. So, what are we gonna tell them about today, Jesse? So today, so on the back of these stockings, they have this like diamondy quilting, but today we're gonna show you how to put our new Kimberbell quilting designs behind our stockings. And this quilting design was actually just released yesterday. It's super cute and super fun. It's called Christmas 2, I think. Yes. Right? Yeah. And it's got the candy canes and, and the little, little peppermint peppers. drops. So when you are putting these on, they're a little bit different. When you make a 5x7 stocking, you're going to want to use the 6. I think a 6x10 or 6 and a half by 10 and a half quilting design and you're just going to pull it up on your machine and you're going to want to load your stocking first and you're going to set that one and then you're going to go to add you're going to hit this and then you're going to want to add your quilting and you're gonna set that one so they lay right over top of each other. When you're doing the six by 10 and the five by seven, they'll pull up center and you won't really have to adjust anything. And you'll have to go through and kind of skip some steps to get to where you need to be. And that was explained last week in the Tuesday tip on centering the Twilight Boulevard pillow blocks with the quilting. And then when you're doing an eight by 12 stocking. You're gonna wanna use two six by eight files and you're gonna have to rotate them 90 degrees and then you're gonna line up the batting tack down lines on each other 
And you're going to want to center your stocky in the middle of that. Yeah. And then when you do... So Jesse, one sec. On that 8x12 stocking, can they use an 8x12 hoop? Oh, you'll have to move up a hoop size. Same with the 2, the 5x7, and the 6x10. You'll want to go up one hoop size, just like when you're using... And is that to fit quilting. the quilting pattern yeah. onto the stocking for it to fit in the hoop? Mm-hmm. And then on the 9x14, you're going to use an 8x8 quilting file on the bottom, and you're going to shift it a little bit to the right and line it up with the toe and the heel, and then you're going to use a 6x8 file on the top and rotate it 90 degrees and shift it a little bit to the left so you cover the top part. And then when you're doing them, you're going to want to make sure that you tape all the way around your fabric because some of the stitches will travel off and you don't want your foot to get caught when it's traveling during the quilting. Mm -hmm. So at what point, at what step do they add the Kimberbell quilting files? So it will be step five. So you'll place the batting and then you'll place your front fabric. Front fabric, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then it will pull up with the diamond quilting and you'll want to go back a few steps to add in your new Kimberbell quilting pattern on the top. So then we just skip that diamond quilting mm -hmm. step and move on as soon as we've done the quilting. And you'll want to skip the first few steps on the quilting with like the batting placement line and the fabric tack down line because mm -hmm. your fabric will already be on your stabilizer. Yeah. So you can replace, again, Jesse was saying how to replace this diamond quilting with one of the Kimberbell quilting patterns, but you can also leave it plain. So you can just do the quilting and then not put all of the applique. So I should have brought it, but at home I made one and I just left the toe and the heel on and I did the all over plaid quilting and it was really cute. I did it on a linen and it was really simple and I love it. I should have brought it. Anyway, do we have any other I thing we need to add? Is everything for today. Do you guys have any questions you'd like to ask us? Um, can they be personalized with somebody's name? Certainly. If you have a, um, what's the word? Font. If you have fonts on your machine, then you can pull that in. I would definitely want to customize it and put my kids' names on them. So you'll just want to um, place that, right? And put it wherever mm -hmm. you want to put it, probably on the top. Any other questions? Where can they find the Kimberbell quilting designs? Those are online at mykimberbell.com. That's it. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank and you. And post your pictures. We can't wait to see what quilting patterns you choose and making your stockings.